in this video we will discuss about how the antiphage affect the uh, how the defense mechanism in the bacteria works against the phage infection or antiphage defense mechanism in bacteria so we will go uh, through the numbers that are described in this figure let us start with the uh, first uh, point number 1 uh, in this case uh, the bacteriophage has successfully infected the bacteria so this is not the defense mechanism how uh, from the second the defense mechanism works so what happens in uh, in the second condition is that the receptors are blocked or there is a competition blocking of this uh, receptors that are available in the uh, bacterial cell surface and since this re receptors are not available uh the bacteriophage is not been able to interact with the cell surface of bacteria and in the next case that is in the third case what happens is that there is a mutation of the uh, receptors bacterial cells happen uh, that are uh, that recognize the bacteriophage so those receptors when after mutation i will not be able to recognize the bacteriophage so in this case bacteriophage will not be able to infect the next phase is that uh, there is the hiding of the receptors through the formation of uh, polysaccharides chain through the formation of polysaccharides chain so it will prevent the bacteriophage to come in contact with the receptor the next phase is that where next condition is that when the bacteriophage infect the whenever the bacteriophage uh, inject its uh, genomic dna inside the bacterial cells it triggers the formation of uh, prophase and this uh, prophase will then modify the sites in such a way that bacteriophage will not be able to inject bacteriophage will not be able to inject <coughs> its dna any further uh, next approach is uh, based on uh, rea's approach so in this uh, approach what happens is that the restriction modification uh, this approach is called uh, as restriction modification system so what happens in this case the rea's will recognize the restriction site in the uh, inserted gen uh, genomic dna from bacteriophage or we can say inserted genetic material from the bacteriophage so after detection of this restriction site this rna uh, will cleave those restriction sites thus uh, preventing the uh, functional trans uh, transfection or translation of this uh, genomic material into the uh, uh, final product the next approach is uh, one of the famous approach that is the crispr crispr approach so what happens in this case is that there is a cleavage of uh, site that include the prime sequence done by the crispr done by the uh, uh, cas9 proteins or uh, cas uh, crispr associated proteins uh, there is a family of uh, cas proteins that can cleave the uh, site of genomic dna near the pam sequence and this uh, sequence will be added to the uh, genomic uh, genomic material of the bacteria so whenever uh, uh, whenever the bacterial cells get infected by the same kind of genomic material so uh, what happens in that case is that uh, the crispr cas9 will uh, crispr cas9 will combine together in a way that this crispr rna uh, will help in recognition of those uh, sites that are available in the that are available in the data located uh, in the inserted genomic dna and this uh, cas proteins or crispr associated proteins will cleave those sites thus preventing the uh, maturation of maturation or uh, functional uh, conversion or we can say transfection or translation into the final product so this is the uh, basis uh, on which crispr system is uh, works
and CRISPR system is derived from this uh, function. The sorry, yeah. And the next approach is the uh, next approach is the uh, toxin anti. Uh, next approach is the cell death approach. In this case, what happens whenever the bacteria is not infected with any uh, bacteriophage, the anti toxin will bind the uh, toxin substance and uh, will inhibit any uh, cell death signal. However, when the bacteriophage infect, it will mediate the metabolism. Bacteriophage infect the cells will mediate the metabolism or reduce the metabolism it will mediate the metabolism of cells in such a way that the toxin amount of toxin uh, increases compared to the antitoxin and this increase in toxin will leads to or will trigger the cell death uh, of those infected cells so this is uh, some of the approach by which bacteria uh, can uh, bacteria can survive against the bacteriophage uh, infection. If you need to understand this thing in details, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.